Hello and welcome to another video game mod video tutorial. This one is going to be putting RCA onto the SNES. You can also follow up the SNES set of tutorials. It's, it's probably on a playlist that I'll create. And obviously this one's the RCA mod. But I'm also going to incorporate uh, a 50 and 60 hertz switch mod also. So for this one, you're going to need obviously a SNES. Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Or Super Famicom. I'm not sure if it'll be the same, but you can try. Um, we're gonna. Well, we don't need an LED. I'm just gonna switch the LED out the front because I don't like the boring red. I'm gonna use an orange one. I've um, got three Fono jacks. I've just got some gold ones. Uh, they're all green in colour like that, just for no apparent reason, just because they were cheap actually. Um, you're gonna need a normal Phillips cross screwdriver. You're also going to need, and this is a requirement unless you make your own, uh, to of melting a pen and forming it around the end of a game bit screw. But you're going to need a 4.5mm game bit tip, like this. And I've also got this ratchet driver here, uh, that's basically just a screwdriver, but you put the ends in it yourself. Also, obviously, you're going to need a soldering iron, some solder, and some wire. So let's get started. Okay, just a quick clip. Uh, for the LED, it normally goes there. Um, obviously, to actually even take the circuit board away from the plastic, we would have to desolder all these pins, which is not nice. So, what I've done instead is I've just ripped the LED clean out of there, and here you can see are the two pins that we'll use for the LED. And this is the LED, it's an orange LED and you want to bend it so the legs are like that so they're flat up against the bottom and they bend around with the long leg on the left so when it's like that the long leg on the left so then when we put this inside there and solder it on it'll be sand which is what I'm going to do in a minute ok so I've soldered the LED onto there onto those two contacts uh, the front panel is plugged in, the console is plugged in so if we turn this on and bada bing orange LED, now that looks much better than the standard red one that was in there so let's continue with the RCA mod ok so I've soldered up a Fono jack here it is, this one obviously goes to ground which can be any of the silver parts on the board like around the outside like these bits, as you can see there, that's where my ground is. Should have made the ground wire a bit smaller, but oh well. There you go. And I've just been testing across this, this little panel of pins. Oops, right here. And they are actually the ones that supply audio and visual to the multi art, which is on the back there. And I've just been testing across those just to find where the audio and visual is coming out. And let me get the screwdriver so I can show you a bit better. This pin, right here, second from 11, is the visual. And then 11 and 12 are audio. Now I'm not sure which one's left or right, but I don't suppose it really matters. So just put one to a phono jack and then the other one to a phono jack. Or you could just put a bridge across both and take it out to one phono jack because most TVs do stereo through one anyway or you could just, what I said before this 12 to a phono jack and 11 to a phono jack so it's these three here these three in an L shape they're the pins that we need to put to phono jacks so let's do that ok so I'm going to show you exactly how you solder it um, you can't see, well you can see it very well I can't see it very well but this pin here I've just dabbed a bit of solder on just to lift it up a little bit if I put that in the centre of the screen that one next to C48 this one right here just add a tiny bit of solder just to lift it up a little bit and just to apply a fresh dab of solder so we can solder to it now if we look at this wire that I've just made um, I've just soldered the end of it and it's still quite thick so compared to the, the contact so, we want to make sure it's as thin as possible, and we want it as short as possible to the board. 
like that. Look, that's really, really small. So when we put it on, we're not we're not going to bridge across any other contacts. So if I do that now, make sure you've got a tiny bit of solder on your soldering iron as well. There you go, simple as. So now you can see it's pretty much right up against the board, and that's what we want. Um, if we didn't have the multi out there and the pins were there, we could have actually gone through the board and that would be a lot better because then there'd just be plastic on the upside of the board. But whatever, we, we hadn't because the multi's there. And it's a good thing, I suppose, because then we've already got the pins that are supplied with visual and such. Okay, so I'll show you how to dab the little bit of solder onto the contacts on the board. It's very easy. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You don't want too much solder on your iron. So scrape off... As much as like like kind of little blob, if you can see that very well there, um, there yes, yeah, so it's like a little blob. Then you just want to like touch the bottom of the contact. And it will kind of lift the solder up a little bit like that, and that's exactly what we want. Now we can solder the jack onto it. Make it I'm kind of struggling because I'm on the floor, but. Whatever. So once again, the wire is very short on the end. So it can go butt up against the board. Actually, it's probably a little bit too. Yeah, that's better. And exactly the same as before. Hold the tip of the wire up against the contact. Just press it into the contact, and job will be a good one. And you want to do exactly the same for contact 12, which is behind contact 11. Okay, so once you've got all of those soldered onto the contacts, we've got three Fono jacks there. We're actually going to mount them at the back. Uh, you can't see. We're actually going to mount them at the back here uh, in the plastic. So it's all neat. So the wires didn't need to be that long, and we can just jump her across all of the ground. So you want to get like a little strand of wire like this, you want to cut it into two bits, two little bits, not too long. And then we want to just jump across these grounds on all three funnels. Because obviously you can use common ground, so that's fine. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so we've ultimately finished the AVRCA mod. As you can see the three funnel jacks are in the back. Um, the only thing that I'm pretty disappointed about is... I've had to bodge the ground at the minute, I've had to use friggin wire off some old crappy headphones to reach the ground on the front because I couldn't get a ground under there without disturbing this interference plate so I'll redo that ground at a later date but basically anywhere on the board where it's like this silvery colour here you might need to clean it first to actually get the solder to even grip in the first place now really you should test the console before you put it all back together so it'd be probably best to test it now but I'm pretty confident when it will work so I'm going to put it back together and then we'll test it ok so here it is all connected up as you can see we've got the three Fono leads in the back there is no multi output plugged in just to make sure that you know it is legitimate um, so yeah I'm going to plug all stars in and that is indeed you follow these wires up running into the front of the TV which will be on AB3 so, I shouldn't need blind so I just cleaned it out, but, you never know. I've got a controller in. Okay. So, it should also have the orange LED on the front. So, let's switch it on. It is indeed orange. And we have visual and audio. So yeah, here you go, absolutely working flawless there, as you can see. Any questions, email me at jawsykiller at live.co.uk. Um, any mess, uh, questions, you can also hit me up on the comments on YouTube. You can send me a message on YouTube, or you can add me on Facebook, just search Jordan Norman. All stuff will be in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching.